fruit wines made in complex processes from cherries, apples or pears are in vogue. They can be found up on the wine lists of the finest restaurants and finding favour with top gastronomers. Billy Wagner, a sommelier in Berlin, is impressed with the quality of many fruit wines. Durch die äh, wahnsinnig interessante Vielfalt an unterschiedlichen Früchten, Quitten, Johannisbeeren, Äpfel, Birnen, äh, Rhabarber, Kirschen, ähm, entsteht Getränke, die ultra vielseitig im Prinzip sind. Du hast ähm, alles, was du im Weinbereich findest, also aufgesprittetes, äh, süße Sachen, trockene Sachen. Und auf einmal entsteht ein riesengroßer bunter Korb an unterschiedlichem Geschmack. Since 2015, Billy Wagner and Chef Micha Schäfer have been running the starred restaurant Nobelhardt and Schmutzig in Berlin. Currently, they include 40 fruit wines on their wine list, both sparkling and still. The dishes on their menu feature exclusively local ingredients. Mit dem Ausschenken von Obstweinen fördern wir im Prinzip eine gute Landwirtschaft, die hinter dem Obstwein steht. Also, wenn du einen guten Rhabarberschaumwein machen willst, wenn du einen guten Apfelsidre machen willst, dann ähm, hast du gleichzeitig auch eine gute Landwirtschaft dahinter. Dann ist das Lebensmittel, was da in der Region produziert wird, wieder was wert. Dann hat der Mensch, der das produziert, ein gutes Auskommen, kann auch natürlich Menschen wieder beschäftigen, die die Bäume pflegen, die die Ernte machen und, 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 und. Und ich glaube, das ist eine ganz wichtige Verantwortung für uns und deswegen machen wir das auch. One of the wine growers Billy Wagner supports is Jens Skoga. His cold wine winery in northern Denmark processes rhubarb to make sparkling wine. He also turns other produce such as apples and currants into fruit wine. I have a deep dedication to, towards apples and other fruits. So to me, it came naturally to, to make a wine out of what we grow best in Denmark. Denmark's cool climate is less than ideal for grapes, but rhubarb thrives. Rhubarb is a vegetable, and about 100 kilometers south of Jens Skogar's vineyard on the island of Funen, it's harvested from May to late June. The wine grower processes about 10,000 kilos annually. Sparkling rhubarb wine is made in much the same way as champagne. Yeast and sugar are added to the juice. The carbonation arises from the natural fermentation in the bottle. The whole process takes about one year. The idea of making sparkling wine from a vegetable started as an experiment for Jens Skoga. And for everybody who's tried this, you know it's extremely acidic. So. Um, then I got the idea, can I make sparkling wine out of this? I called everybody, uh, winemakers I knew, and asked them, is it possible to make wine out of rhubarbs? And everybody said, no, you can't make wine out of rhubarbs. So of course I had to try it. More and more wine growers are specializing in premium fruit wines. One is this wine made from sour cherries on the Danish island of Lolland, a genuine grand cru among fruit wines. First, it's aged in glass containers in the open air, and later in oakwood casks. Fruit wines go with many kinds of dishes. Starred Berlin chef Micha Schäfer serves cherry wine, for example, with game. Sparkling rhubarb wine harmonizes with a dessert made with rhubarb, buttercream and a crumble topping. He prefers to serve an apple wine together with a hearty dish like whipped potatoes with onions and rose petals. Are fruit wines the best accompaniment to good meals? Genauso wie es für einen Riesling von der Mosel einen gewissen Moment gibt, gibt es für einen Apfelschaumwein aus der Normandie. Genauso gibt es den richtigen Moment für einen Kirschwein aus äh, Dänemark. Ähm, also jeder Moment hat seine entsprechende Vielfalt und auch seine bestimmte Berechtigung. Und dementsprechend geht es dann nicht um besser oder schlechter, sondern einfach nur um mehr Vielfalt. And so the innovative fruit wines can hold their own with classic wines and are definitely worth a try.